Hey everyone, my name is Johnny and I'm a drummer living in Toronto, Canada. And today I thought I would just share a short story with you all about kind of buying my first cool CD. And for me, that CD was shamelessly Kid Rock's Devil Without a Cause album. So I was about 12 years old at the time and a bunch of us had gone to my friend Andrew's house for lunch one afternoon and he always kind of had cool music playing and this afternoon we were sitting in his room and he put on a song called Cowboy and I remember when this song started thinking to myself this sounds like a, a nouveau kind of western like pure cowboy song and I remember really liking it right from the get-go so I asked my buddy Andrew, I'm like, who is this? And he said, it's Kid Rock, man. It's his new CD, check it out. So from that moment on, I kind of knew I had to get this CD based purely off that one song alone. So a couple of days later, my mom happened to be going to the mall and I asked if I could tag along because there was a CD that I wanted to grab. And she said that was cool. So I tagged along with my mom to Square One Shopping Mall in Mississauga. And I was pretty nervous because I knew that this CD had an explicit lyric sign on it. And being 12 years old and, you know, my mom was a teacher and I was just nervous thinking that maybe she wouldn't want me buying this CD. So it kind of felt like it was a bit of a mission. So we got to the mall, we'd walked around a bit and then finally we arrived at HMV and I was, I was pretty nervous at this point. And my mom came in and she was kind of doing her thing. And I went to the rock alternative section under K for Kid Rock and I found the CD and I immediately grabbed it and kind of, you know, grabbed it like this and covered up the explicit lyrics logo and went to the front to pay. And I think my mom was kind of like with me at this point. So, you know, I was covering the logo and I, I put it down and just kind of hoping she didn't say anything and, you know, paid for it and put it in the bag quickly. And I was like, okay, I can relax. I made it, mission accomplished. After that, we got in the car and started driving home. And I remember I was sitting in the passenger seat and I really wanted to look at this CD because I was so excited. So I kind of took it out of the bag you know, remove the plastic and my mom was driving and I kind of, you know, still covering the uh, logo. I just opened it up to get a peek. And as soon as I opened it up, my heart sank <laughs> because staring back at me <laughs> was a big middle finger right on the seat. <laughs> and I remember just my heart sank and my mom was like, how's that new CD? And I was like, uh, it's great. And she was like, do you want to put the CD in and listen to it? And I was like, no, that's okay. You know, I'll listen to it at home. So I just remember I was so nervous. I was nervous already because of this logo, you know, and I thought that I would already have to maybe hide the CD. But after seeing this big middle finger on the CD itself, I knew this was never going to see the light of day when my parents were around. So I remember when we got home and that initial kind of shock wore off, <laughs> um, I ran up to my room and, you know, I put the CD on in my uh, CD player with my headphones and I I was listening to it. I remember just, you know, kind of staring into this picture and just seeing this guy smoking a cigar. It just it looked so badass, you know, and opening up the CD, reading the liner notes and, and looking at all this. And, and even still, you know, like right when you open this thing, <laughs> this thing up, there's just a big poster of Kid Rock, you know, like giving the middle finger again. It just so crazy and for a 12 year old i mean this was this was pretty shocking for me for whatever reason and even just looking at the picture of his band the twisted brown trucker band and i remember thinking like look at this cast of characters that this guy has in his band you know just growing up in mississauga in the suburbs this was so foreign to me like this was rock and roll this was edgy this was like nothing i had ever been exposed to at that point in my life just seeing pictures of this you know this guy was a rock star and he was mysterious and yeah there was just it, it drew my attention to this cd so much more i remember even just feeling kind of weird about even having this cd in my house because it was like nothing that i had ever bought before and i don't even know if i really had much of a taste in music at the time i had only listened to kind of whatever my parents listened to in the car which was usually the oldies radio station 50s and 60s, you know, tunes. So this was like a big step. And I was just nervous about it kind of displaying maybe some of my musical tastes or whatever I was into, but I ended up listening to this album on repeat for a very, very long time. In fact, when I first got into drumming, these were some of the first songs that I ever used to sit and just play drums along to. You know, songs like Cowboy, 
obviously Bawa to Bada, that was a big song on here welcome to the party i remember my buddy andrew and i could recite every word to that song and i bet you i still could only god knows why that was a that was a ballad just you sit in my room you know staring at the ceiling just <laughs> classic like 12 13 year old kid but yeah it was uh it was a good experience with this cd in fact this cd is actually not even my copy my copy is somewhere at my parents house but my friend paul so gracious lent me this CD and it's really funny because when I went to pick it up from him he actually had a similar story about the middle finger CD I guess his family had like a six disc changer that was in the main family area or whatever and he had put this in there to listen to it I guess when no one was around and he forgot to take it out so I think his mom one day you know opened up the disc changer and it just kind of rotated right to this middle finger and I guess he was kind of nervous about all that so it was really funny and I guess for a lot of 12 year olds or anyone who was young that bought this CD um, I could imagine had a similar feeling. It was pretty shocking for those times for, for whatever that's worth. So yeah, it was an interesting experience and uh, to this day it always gives me a chuckle. So that's my story about my first cool CD purchase, which was Kid Rock's Devil Without a Cause 1998 album. Once again, big thank you to my buddy Paul for hooking this up. This was seriously so nostalgic to look at. And if you had a similar experience with this CD or even just buying an album in general at a young age and seeing something kind of shocking that maybe you had to hide from your family or just felt uneasy about, please comment below. I'd love to hear what your story was all about. And if you just like the video in general, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.